And while an Oak Ridge man strapped for cash has been receiving personal loan offers recently that seemed like the break he needed to get out of debt. Pretty tempting, yeah. but the deals he was given turned out to be scams. WHB 6 on your side, consumer reporter Don Dare listened to some pretty mm. sweet offers made over the phone, Don. Yeah, the deals were for $5,000, but listen to this, each time you had to pay money up front, oh. don't do oh. it. Yep. Be careful. Yeah. Be careful. Fraudsters use the frustration and desperation of those with credit problems to trick people into sophisticated personal loan scams. The red flags are all there, and we want you to be aware of them to protect your money. In Oak Ridge, Eric Stiles went looking for a loan online recently. He's disabled and wanted to beat back credit card debt and consolidate his debt. At first, he failed to secure the online loan he was looking for. But within a day's time, several unsolicited loan companies called him. On the first occasion, the guy was relentless. He called once a day for two weeks. And this last one, I just got another call from what almost sounds like the same person, but it's claiming it's a different bank. My name is Paul, okay? What do you want? Eric recorded several of the calls. He was requesting a $5,000 loan, and to his surprise, the loan officers approved him almost immediately. The first people that called wanted me to go to Walgreens and buy a $120 PayPal card and send it to them, and then they would put the money in my bank after that. It's a scam, but it's so convincing. It got to the point where I was like, I'm turning down a $5,000 loan here. I don't know if I'm doing this or not, you know. As he searched for the second caller he recorded, for this guaranteed loan, another advance fee was required. For $5,000, your monthly installments will be $150 for the next upcoming 36 months. Will that be okay with you? He wants $150 up front. Uh, up front. You turn him down? Yes. Yeah, I, I said I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that in a loan. There are several signs of personal loan scams. If no credit check is required or if the loan is approved quickly, forget it. A scammer doesn't care about your credit worthiness, they're after your personal information. Loans demanding fees before approval are a scam. A lender asking for payment before it's processed, you're dealing with a crook looking for a quick buck. If you're asked for payment in the form of a prepaid card, that's the same as paying with cash. It's nearly impossible to trace or get back. If your loan offer is incomplete, look for another loan. The Truth in Lending Act requires all lenders to provide the complete terms of a loan before you sign. Okay, for $5,000... Eric called us because he wanted you to hear the voices of the scammers and to listen to their pitch. It's very easy to fall for. I, I at one point had my checkbook out thinking about it. Don't fall for it. <laughs> Do not give any information. Now, you can get personal loans from a lot of places these days. If you don't like your bank or credit union's terms or have bad credit when applying, an online lender might cater your to, to your specific needs. But going online comes with a downside. It's hard to tell a scam from a legitimate offer. To help you avoid getting ripped off, the lender should clearly display a physical location and its state licensing information online. The lender should be easy to contact, should have decent support, and you should not hear other voices in the background. When you apply for a personal loan, you'll typically get two credit checks, a soft pull to confirm that you exist, and a hard pull to see your credit history. Remember to research the lender before you accept the loan. When you search, find out the information about the lending company. If you can't, go looking for a scam business. Don't do business with them. And oh, as yeah. you heard with the background in Eric's recording, you heard all these other people right. talking. A lot of there. noise. A lot of noise. I'm in the so background. glad Eric did that yeah. and let you know about it because it, it can be convincing. Mm -hmm. uh, they do have a good job. Yes. Uh, yes. And, and, and you're right. I think hear that example now. Mm -hmm. You know exactly what to hear, you know, listen for on the phone. Yeah, that's why they're in business to scam. Yeah. They can <laughs> be relentless. Yeah, they they make a lot of money at yeah. it. Yeah. All right, Don, thank you so much. Hey, if you have a consumer question for Don, send him an email at mm -hmm. ddare at wat.com or call mm -hmm. his six on your side hotline number at 865. Five six three three five nine seven four.